Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, scalene uh, triangle uh, ABC, circumscribing uh, the circle uh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these points uh, D, E, and uh, F are the points of uh, tangency. And moreover, uh, this uh, side length uh, AC is 13 units. The side length uh, BC is uh, 14 units. And the side length uh, AB is uh, 15 units. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AE is uh, represented by X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. In other words, uh, we are going to calculate uh, this uh, line segment uh, AE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Since we are dealing with this uh, scalene uh, triangle, in other words, uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, different. And now let's recall the two tangents theorem. If uh, two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same uh, external point, then they are uh, congruent as you can see in this uh, given diagram and here we can see we got these uh, two tangents uh, OA and uh, OB where this uh, O is the only external point then we conclude that this uh, segment uh, OA is going to be equal to this segment uh, OB in other words uh, these are two tangents OA and this tangent OB are congruent and now we are going to focus on our given uh, this problem and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, tangent uh, AE is going to be equal to this uh, tangent uh, AD if this uh, tangent is uh, X uh, then this other tangent AD is going to be X uh, as well and likewise uh, this uh, tangent uh, CD is going to be equal to this tangent uh, CF. Therefore, we can say that this uh, tangent CD is congruent to this tangent uh, CF. And finally, this tangent uh, BF uh, is going to be congruent to this uh, tangent uh, EB. So, therefore, uh, these uh, two tangents are uh, congruent uh, as well. And now, let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, tangent uh, AD is uh, X and this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 13. So therefore uh, this uh, tangent segment uh, CD is going to be 13 uh, minus uh, X and since uh, these uh, two tangents are uh, congruent so therefore uh, this uh, tangent uh, CF is going to be 13 minus uh, X uh, as well. And now let's make an, uh, another observation. We know that this uh, segment AE is uh, X and we know this whole uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 15. So therefore uh, this remaining uh, tangent segment uh, EB is going to be 15 minus uh, X. And since uh, these two tangents uh, EB and this tangent uh, BF are congruent, so therefore we conclude that this segment uh, BF is going to be 15 minus uh, X uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, BC is equal to the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, CF uh, and this another uh, individual length uh, FB. So therefore I can write uh, that this uh, side length BC is going to be CF plus uh, FB segment. And now we know that our this uh, BC side length is uh, 14. So therefore I am going to substitute uh, this BC length uh, over here by 14. And we know our this uh, CF length uh, is uh, 13 minus X. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by 13 minus uh, X. And finally this uh, segment uh, FB is 
15 minus x. So therefore, I'm going to replace this part uh, by 15 minus uh, x. So therefore, our this equation is going to become 14 uh, equals to 13 uh, minus uh, x plus uh, 15 uh, minus uh, x. And now we are going to combine the like terms on the right hand side. So therefore, we are going to have 14 equals to 28 minus 2x. And now I am going to move this 2x on the left hand side. And at the very same time, I'm going to move this 14 on the opposite direction. So therefore, we are ended up with 2x equals to 28 minus 14. So therefore, we can write 2x equals to 14. Let me divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, x. And here we can see this uh, 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, we conclude that our uh, x uh, value turns out to be 7 uh, units. So thus, after all the calculations and manipulations, our x value turns out to be 7 units. In other words, uh, our this uh, length uh, AE, which is x uh, equal to 7 uh, units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.